and very special for all of the Jewish people. On that day, the Alter Rebbe was born, the founder of Chabad Chassidus, and the Baal Shem Tov before him was born. The founder of Chassidus, and they personified what a Jew and a Chassid is supposed to be. Abraham, Abraham was called a Chassid, Ish Chassid. And what is it that he was? That he cared for everyone. So also did we see that the Baal Shem Tov, whose name was Yisra, which personifies the LSD, LCD, the lowest common denominator of every Jew, was the one who cared about everyone. He would take little children by the hand and bring them to Haider. Even though he was a great Kabbalist, Rav, scholar, the Alter Rebbe would interrupt his Yom Kippur service and go to help a poor Jewish widow, woman, need. I uh, just give a child. All these things underline to us that we as Jews and Hasidim of HaKadosh Baruch Hu must do everything in our power to bring holiness and sensitivity and caring into the world. Every person's name represents what he or she is supposed to be. Sometimes very visibly so and sometimes not so visible. The name of someone represents what his mission is. Thus, Avram was the one that brought unity to all. He reached out to everyone. He tried to bring everyone together under the wings of HaKadosh Baruch of the Shekhinah. He had a servant who was his most trusted servant. His name was Eliezer. To the point where he entrusted Eliezer with all of his wealth in order that he should go ahead and find a fitting wife for his son Yitzchak. What was and who was Elias? He wasn't even Jewish. But his mission was to such a degree involved in building the Jewish people that Abram entrusted everything to him. Kaili Ozer, what does the name Elias represent? That God helps. God provides. We should never think that we're alone in a desert. That who's going to help us? HaKadosh Baruch Hu, God has many messengers. And He knows how to bring them together when they need to come together. No one can imagine sometimes how we run into the things, the sparks, and the missions that we're ultimately supposed to do. But God brings us together. He sets up situations. And from there we proceed. Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, grew up in Egypt. You could say the corporal materialistic world of Egypt, which is all kinds of restrictions and blockages. And he became the conveyor of Torah and mitzvahs to the Jewish people. The Moshe that conveys Torah that is the mission of Moshe. Each one of us has a job. Abraham and Sarah were childless. The Kaddish Baruch Hu sent them, three angels. One of them was Malach Rephal, the angel of healing. Rephal means to heal, but who heals? God heals. He gives us the tools and the opportunities to fulfill what we are supposed to do. And he waits for us. And he knocks on our door. This way and that way. Until ultimately we get the message. Ours is a message of unity. The message of the Baal Shem Tev was Avas Yisrael. You should love your fellow Jew. No reasons why. You should help him. Why? Because he's a chilek, a lakam, imal, mamash. He's a part of God. Actually so. How can a Jew not love or want to help God? Alter Rebbe was a litvak. He was a great Talmudic scholar. He was a pilpalist. But he saw the need for the light of Hasidus. And so he went to the Mizrit Shemagi. And he became his student. What does Hasidus teach? What is the ultimate bottom line of it all? 
It is that we're to work together, united. There is no greater blessing and no greater vessel for blessings for the Jewish people than the blessing of shalom, of peace. The blessing that the Jewish people have blessed each other for thousands of years in, that the Torah has given us as the vessel for blessings, is the blessing that ends with shalom, with peace. There is no greater blessing vessel to bring all the blessings to fruition. We find ourselves in the days of reflection, of drawing closer, the days of mercy, in the month of mercy. May we merit to see mercy this year in all levels of our association and our missions that God has given us strength to do. We enter into the year Tafshinayim, a year that is associated by its very name with a gematria that personifies love and caring and spreading Yiddishkeit. Seven, seven. A place from which came forth Torah and Hasidus to all of the world. A place that was the opposite before the Rebbe's of Chabad came there of life. And even from there can come forth the greatest abilities for Torah, for life. If we follow in the ways of the Baal Shem Tov, and we follow in the ways of Moshe Rabbeinu and the Alter Rebbe, then we are assured of success of bringing peace and harmony to the world. Success in a way that will bring forth Ahavas Yisrael, the love of a fellow Jew. Rabbi Akiva said, a descendant of converts, to the degree did he raise himself to become that Kula Hilchasa Libeta Rabbi Akiva that all of the laws go according to Rabbi Akiva. And he had 24,000 students, but they didn't deal respectfully with each other. And so things were not good. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai said that if we spread the wellsprings of the cities and light, then the world will know goodness. We come from Kisavei Yoharetz, when you come to the land. And there Hashem, Moshe Rabbeinu, warns the Jewish people, do good, respect your boundaries, speak good, of each other. And all of the blessings that are there will be visibly blessings. For the numerical value of the word Chinam, 98 personifies either blessings or the opposite of blessings. May we merit, like the Baal Shem Tov said, that every Jew, and how we practice, that every Jew shall be a brother to his brother and will care about him or her and will not say, am I my brother's keeper? We are our brother's keepers and we must always help each other. And that is what awaits the coming of Mashiach. And that is all that is left to fulfill. May we merit it speedily in our days. Without mincha now,